And this is who we are, the Emperor Ketil of Nenezia. Nenezia, probably the biggest empire that currently exists, maybe except the Chinese one. A strong and powerful Germanic force. Germanic being mm, not as dominant as it was, but still the dominant religion. Having a lot of armies and levies there. And a little bit over the Demesne size currently. He wants to build a war chest. Well, that will make. That will do well. And uh, we have him being scarred because of his many duels. He's diligent, deceitful though and paranoid so he's he's using intrigue if possible but it's hard but he's also kind so and zealous so he's really into belief and because of that belief he's started to focus on theology um yeah he doesn't want to focus on getting an heir because he already has one two three four five heirs and that's probably enough um, his wife though is weak she's she's dying of cancer they had a slow son who is tragically the heir of the empire and so this son will will probably get his father's attention and uh, Prince Bart will get landed titles and what landed titles could that be? Let's see. I mean, we have a couple of things down here. Merkin is one of these examples here. Sedovia. I'm not sure about Kalish here. Kalish as well. And basically anything that belongs to things like the Jardim of Latgale, the Jardim of Galloway, the County of Letgallen. Galloway. Um, yeah, some things like the Count, uh, the, the Barony of Sroda. Two. We will give first, of course... Um, Hmm. On the other hand, Galloway, right? Galloway, Galloway, Galloway. Jaldem of Galloway, too. Galloway could be something for Prince Tolia. Here we go. And also... the Jardim of Galloway. Here we go. So, and um, now we come to Prince Bard of Venezia. And Prince Bard gets more. He gets a little bit more. We have here, let's click around a bit. I mean, we have Latgale, we have Kalish. I think we also have the Barony of Sroda. So that's what you get first, uh, Kalish and the Barony of Sroda. City of Kalish, Temple of Pshidri. Here we go. County of Kalish, the Barony of Sroda. Mm. And he will also get the Kingdom of Poland, I think. And to add to that... Mm, I think we have Merkini here, which is Sedovia. Then we have Latgale. Latgale. 
here. It really will give him Sudovia because um, so that's Makin. That's much better. County of Sudovia. Here we go. He's a little bit over the vassal limit now, but that will soon change as he's a king now. And um, we should maybe should maybe give him a betrothed. And um, the question is whom? I mean, a little older they should be, maybe. So we can see a little bit what we're getting into. Mm. How about something to counteract? Oh, yeah. Something to counteract his his slowness. <sighs> Gertrude Luder's daughter. Yeah. That's who she is, and then let's try to get something betrothed going on for Jaltolier of Galloway as well. Here we go. And it's six. Mm. What could we have for, or whom could we have for him, rather? Mm. Someone strong, maybe? Mm. That comes later, right? Someone quick, maybe? Quick isn't so bad. Margariti of Perigold. Affectionate, haughty, indolent, and quick. Here we go. We must start early with this. We must start early. What are we focused on? Well, we've ordered the realm right now. We're focused on uh, the war chest. We're focused on theology. We're a ruler that is a straightforward man down-to-earth, reasonable, faithful, that will probably, though, change over the course of the realm. Are we leading armies? No. Are we in a society? We're not in a society, but I think um, this man has a renowned dualist, too. I mean, he's focused on theology, but he should probably join the Bull Warriors. Kodi Uchwa of Tsarev of the Wolf Warriors greets me with a brief nod. Another recruit, huh? To join our ranks, you need to prove yourself, boy. The man says gruffly, boy, <laughs> folding his arms across his chest. You're fighting one of our own. Still interested? Yeah, I'll gladly fight. We agree. We agree. And we need to look forward for uh, some more opportunities here. Mm, Mare is still the best. One of our most powerful. We've got to be careful about her. Then we need a marshal. A marshal. We still got Edla here. Our cousin. She's pretty great at this and uh, a genius as well. So we'll take her as a marshal back, of course. We'll send her a gift. And we need a steward. We've got we've we've had Swerka and we could have Glot the Duchess of Lithuania who really really likes us, but he's in she's in seclusion. We've got Berger, the child of Welsk. Mm, Alfield, our concubine. Now I think we're gonna go for Swerka again. Swerka Dogfalsa. Our kinsman. Let's send him a gift as well. We need a new spy master, and who could that be? Our aunt, our cousin. Wow, look at our cousin. Our cousin Edla. I'm 
Wolfhul the Unfaithful. She's a little bit deceitful. She said, oh, look at that, 22. Wow, she's so crazy great. And we like her even more than Edla. So there's that. We've got the Spine Master now. Why doesn't she like this? Uh, I don't know. And as a seer, um, Orfei Gogad Asta Gidia Asta of Soyana or Grima, our court tutor. No, please. So we'll go for Asta, the Gidia of Soyana. And we need, yeah, a court physician. Thankfully, it's Orfei. We need a designated regent. Who could we trust? Hmm. Our concubine Alfield. Our sister Princess Karin. Our sister and concubine. Yeah, we trust her. She trusts us. Our mother. Mother will be designated regent. We need a court eunuch. Um, he has become a eunuch. Dalrangval, the Inquisitor. All right. And... Um, Need to have a new herdman. Why not Sterla the Great, the King of Nordoriki? It's important to have friends. Let's have a look at the commanders, though. There's always something. Markwood. Let's replace him with Order. Or just Order. And there's Evo. I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. It's still fine. Well, our Chancellor is a little bit unfortunate, but hmm, having someone ins insane or lunatic instead of that is not really a much better choice. So this is our new council. It's a fine council, and we're gonna look forward to these to working with these people how how you say today right and let's see technology that has been in our focus not so much not so much for a long time not so much our retinues are all full fully used and um we should definitely hold a great blot right now and invite all the vassals to get to know them better. Send out summons to all of your vassals for the blot. Those that have been baptized or follow the teachings of the prophet will have to offer gold to be exempted from our magnificent feast. I can hardly wait. That's something that we wanted to do. And uh, now that we've done absolutely everything we wanted to do, we will continue. The treasury currently houses a valuable item from Emperor Tolia. Uh, the Gyalahorn. Everything for the Gyalahorn. Godi Ukwa, the Grinner, the Wolf Warriors have chosen Ragnar. Ragnar's host as my opponent. The old man, wow, he's a really good fighter. Eyes me up and down and we are introduced. Fresh me day, he offers mockingly for shoving an elbow into my side, every, making every fun love. A fight for glory, huh? The onlookers are cheering for Ragnar of Ragnar's host as he's swinging his wooden sword with increasing enthusiasm. When it's over, the man looks at me with pity. <gasps> By Odin, that hurt man. We're wounded indeed. We have been wounded. Guests have arrived, and the time for the blot has begun. We gather outside the temple, start by offering animals to the gods. Blood is sprinkled on everyone, and on the statues of Odin, Thor, Freyr, and the other gods, as well as on the worshippers themselves. Do we have a prisoner? We've got Dag, our vassal. Now for the human sacrifice. Well, it's on, it's on. With a budget deficit, but we needed to save the Gjallarhorn. Dal Dark is brought up from your dungeons and escorted to the temple. A noose is placed around his neck and the rope is thrown over a sturdy branch of a nearby oak. A small yellow pool forms at Dark's feet. We offer you this sacrifice. 
and the feast at the end of the blood can now begin. The meat of the animals that were sacrificed has already been prepared. There's plenty of meat to go around. That's nice. Uh, during your initiation, says Godi Ukwa, display of bravery and good attitude impressed us all. We would gladly invite you into our ranks. Finally. And our wound has already healed. Giving us a scarred look. And now... Mm, Maybe we need to change something about the treasury we have. We have the classic of poetry, the art of war, modest measures, and the Norse language. That's pretty much the best you can do. The Guardian, the Sword of Heroes, the Masterful Short Sword, Crown of Crows. Yeah, we're definitely in a good artifact position already. And um, we just need to recover a little from our swollen wrist and then we'll see what we can do there. You're conversing with another guest when loud screams of passion interrupt. In the one corner of the room in full view of everyone else, may your, may your smokers engage in carnal pleasures with one of the serving girls. Both are completely naked and only when they notice the stunned silence in the room do they seem to remember they, where they are by the thunderer. Ah. Everything is halted. You're enjoying the feast. A shrill, shrill scream from the other end of the room suddenly draws your attention. Another naked one. Jal Helgi II is running around on the table, waving his arms while screaming that he's on fire. You groan and bury your face in your hands. Oh my goodness. Feast is over with it a blot. It will be at least nine years until we hold the next one. As our vessels return home, most seem to agree that the ceremony was well worth the trip and the fun at the expense of others. Edla! Oh my goodness. Edla wants to give the peasants of Gastric Land a series of roads. It's here. Only a safe one is a productive one. My coffers are empty, but the coffers of my vassals are full. They have an obligation to their liege. Um, he, he doesn't have the gold. Mayor Sigurd, he has the gold. Ask for 50 gold. He's paid us the money we asked him for. This is definitely what we needed. <gasps> and our wife has died of cancer. <sighs> it has been that way. We know it. Um, for a long time. She has given us an air, a slow air, probably due to the to the illness she was bearing. But now it's time it's time to marry again and the question is whom? I mean she has given us we just understand we just get this woman. She's the same. She's a dwarf, but that's about all. A little bit slothful. Mm. Wants to marry a ruler. Yeah, we'll we'll marry her. It's it's the way. Um. Between us and uh, Karen. Can't we marry her? Is that true? We can indeed not marry her, but we can take our sister as a concubine. So there's that. Um, who else is there? Björk, Alfhild, our concubine, the shield maiden. Mm. Edla of Nenezia. Our cousin and Commander Björg Brawny, Brave, everything like that. Or oh, Edla, she's a dwarf, but she's a genius too. Yeah, it's gonna be Edla, I think. We're gonna marry our cousin. And here we go. Edla and Emperor Kettle are getting married. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. 
Yeah, that's just what we need. It's everyone's concern. That has been extremely helpful. And we can start the constructions again. Yeah, resume the golden crown. Should give us vassal opinion. Here we go. Some raiders. But it's fine. And we could extort the subjects, but we need we need uh, we need more money, but we don't want to extort the subjects. What's going on here? Really? Um Let's go and show them what we're made of. Yeah, we can also be a little bit of a ruthless warrior right now because we are definitely we want some practice. A child likes a childhood focus, Prince Ragnar. Um intrigue or str let's go for struggle. Like his father, right? Your loyal vassal Faste has sent you a courier with an offer. No, 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 no leverage on us. My wife Edla tells me she's pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? We are, we are married like 10 seconds ago. Doubt besets me. Of course, we're paranoid. Just need to do it like that. I can't be the father of my wife Edla's baby. I have to hire someone to find out. I'm starting to worry if I shouldn't organize something special. Yeah, we'll dedicate the entire festival to her. My wife couldn't have been a more appropriate choice for this year's festival. She's as gentle and caring and giving blessings to my subjects as Freya herself. Hopefully her actions will both help her deliver a strong child as well as spread the goddess blessing across my lands. I'm sure this will help her deliver the child. Let's have a private conversation. Consumption in Kalish. Oh no. She has accepted my invitation to meet in the seclusion of the sacred grove in the Rock of the Raven. We try to seduce her, of course. Used to it. She blinks in surprise as I step closer to her, but when I move to caress her cheek, I catch the glint of steel in the woman's hand. You! You were going to use that on me? What? Our wife wants to kill us. I won't go down without a fight. What the? So we're at 41. She's at 4. Um, yeah, I mean, I won't go down without a fight. We fight each other, but in the end I prevail and bury my dagger. In her chest, I leave Empress Edla lying on the ground, a pool of blood forming around her. So be it. Ugh. What a crazy start! Ugh. Well then, um. Who else could we marry? Maybe someone from, from outside that is not so crazy. Um, women who would join court and are not married and of high rank. You should join us. Um, let's see who is absolutely into us. Mm, we'll search everywhere. Who wants to marry? Emma wants to marry, but we don't want her. Linda, Scold. Gertrude. I'm not sure. Freya has the cursed hair lip. No hair lip for us. 
stay fisty. She could be someone, but she's a craven. Mm. Homlaug. Temperate, just craven and strong. It's hard to tell. Look, she's she's also groomed and sellers and kind. Greedy. Mm. She's also not the brightest. Mm. Whom could we find there? Silvana of Pisa. We don't like this woman at all. Freya of Romariki. Uh, Twenty-five. Let's see. Kind, proud, diligent, and a craven. Mm. Ambitious, cruel, patient, and diligent. Bothhild. I mean, we could, but really... How about this giant woman here? We would definitely like her well. But... Hmm. We're probably attracted to geniuses. Genai, Gen Camilla, the series of Ziz, would be into us and a genius. Young, she's also chaste, temperate, shy. Mm. I don't know. I think we'll just marry one of our concubines. Alfil the shield maiden comes to mind. Let's arrange a marriage between her and us. Whoop. And let's look for an attractive concubine. This one here. The attractive giant. We'll invite her to court. And we're looking for a new commander. Um, that is, in that case, Ger. Here we go. We're still shocked. I mean, will we ever try to get uh, intimate with a woman? She looks a little bit sickly. Oh, she's malnourished. Whew. I don't know. Dobronega has shown deter determination. What? Now express the desire to study the history of my people's ancestors. I should encourage it. Yeah. I made a hard to gain my wife Edla's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Uh, that's a relief. She's dead. We'll not look for anything else, right? Accept your gracious invitation. We'll join your court forthwith. And you're very attractive, you know. Here we go. And that's our new concubine. We're still young enough for things like that. Danger Ruth has improved significantly. The chief of Selja. What about our wife? Can we make out? That's the that's the question. Kuloi's training ground that we built. Happy about that. Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm by Gidia Ellen of Olompua, and we become close friends. Talking about faith all the time. I'm sure we're really the best. 
Prince Marbold, is he the coming one? No. And we'll not have her married off. Everyone wants to kill someone. It's the same as always. I've encountered Vitran Flavia many times by carrying out my duties for the Wolf Warriors, and it's always a pleasant occasion. I can talk for hours if the time allows, because she never bores me. While our discussions are often lengthy, we always seem to agree on the matters which are most important. I think this is friendship. And her husband? It's probably, he looks like he's dying. Hail fledgling, rumors are that great spoils are waiting behind the walls of Olomouk here in Pilsen. Nah, it's, it's one of our fellow uh, faith brothers. Ooh, Mare has formed an alliance, that's not good. And we have fulfilled the ambition to build a war chest. That's so satisfying. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. I can now bath in gold and now... Oh yeah, the wishes rumors. Uh, we will look into what we can do next, which is our next ambition. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.